Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're well. And another video brought to you by Rib. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a Exile server. Whether it's an Altis or to know it doesn't make the difference. It's still the same procedures. Um, so yeah, we'll jump straight into it. I am at work, so I do apologise about the crap audio. Um, so let's go. We're on the server. There's a few things you need. First of all, go to ExileMod.com. I'll do it as well, just so you know exactly what to do. ExileMod.com downloads, and you need the we're currently on the 1.00 potato. Um, oh, uh, what, should, what would it be called? Version. So download the client and download the server. So you've got these two folders. I've already done this, and they're there. Two other things that are compulsory that you do need, and I probably, yeah, I will link them in the bottom of the description. And we use them among most of my other tutorials, and that is Navcat Lite and Xamp. There for the database information, etc. So what we need now is Steam CMD. So let's get the Steam CMD. Let's go to our C drive and let's create a new folder here. This is where our Armour 3 directory is going to be. I've already created my new folder and I called it New Exile. Uh, this was empty, guys. All I did was paste in Steam CMD and I ran it. And then what it does, it pastes these files in here. So now what you need to do, you need to log in with login space your Steam name space your password. Obviously, I'll skip this bit. And, uh, so we're back, guys. Don't worry about the text above. That was just to clear it so I wasn't giving my password to the world. Uh, so the next thing we need to do, we need to install Armour 3 into this new folder that we've created. So the command we use is app underscore update space 233780 space validate. And let it do its thing. This download it won't take too long. Back, fully installed so the arm 3 directory is now in the folder we created which was new exile for the steam apps common arm 3 server here it is so what we want to do now is let's go, go to our download folder where we downloaded the folders off that website off the exile mod website first of all the client let's put this into our arm 3 directory Okay, just double check. Yeah, so just right click this, copy, go to your three directory, and paste it in here. Like so. Next one, back to the download folder and the server side, the server folder extract here. 
Okay, forget about these for now. Well, go to this one, sorry. Um, let's go into Exile. Right, what we want to do is right click this folder, copy, put this folder into the Armour 3 directory. Now it's contents, leave the add ons folder, but this is what I do I take this, the whole of this, put the one back, and let's paste it here. Okay, and while I'm here, I will edit the exdbconf.ini. I already found crashed. Yeah, there we are. This one here, with our database information. Now scroll down. And then the database name is going to be exile, and the password is going to be Hayden3, because that's the user I've set up. Username, sorry, is Hayden, and the password is Hayden3. Okay, save that. Done. Okay, go back to your download folder. MP missions, depending on which mission you want to run, we're going to run the Altis for now, copy, like I said, it doesn't matter which one you use, it's the same for each. Then let's go to our MP missions folder, MP missions, paste it in here. Back to our download folder. Let's go to, let's get TAST, this is what launched the server. Copy this, and just pull into the R3 directory, so let's go back to the R3 server. Let's pop this here. Okay, now let's set up the database. So navcat, what's navcat? Navcat. Okay, we're back in navcat. Click connection, MySQL, connection name, just call it exile, localhost, uh, routes, don't change anything here. Go okay. Uh, depending on if you've got a user created, I already have. Well, let's just put this first. User, my user down there is Hayden. If you haven't, go to new user, type in Hayden, localhost, Hayden3, Hayden3. It's not going to let me do it because I've already got the user. Yeah, okay. But then click server privileges and just tick them all. Then save. Okay, once you've got your user, let's save that. Right click the database down here, go to new database, type in exile, go OK. Ooh. Character set, let's go to default character set, go OK. OK, so double click this one, right click it, execute SQL file, little dots, go to our downloaded folder where we had all our files, MySQL, exile.sql, open, start. Close, and we're all done, guys. We're all done. Let's refresh this. There we are. As you can see, the database is set up. Files are all in the correct place. The only thing to do now is set up TADST. T A D S T. That starts our server. So let's go to the new Excel folder. Steam apps. Common. Oma three. TADST. Do open this okay server name i haze altis exile okay mission it's already got the mission in there click this mods you want exile on the exile server go back to here players whatever um nothing else you really have to do on there but this is an important one guys click persistent battlefield or every time the last person leaves the server the server will restart it will cause you issues so make sure you've got persistent battlefield uh, done that select an executable just in the bottom of your armor 3 folder go okay okay we're good we're good to join the server let's start stop our armor 3 armor 3 which will take a while I am on a potato PC as I've heard pointed out server is up sorry guys we're back there is one thing i did forget go back to your downloads folder into the arm uh, let's go back to the downloads folder 
Alma 3 serve folder, this TBM malloc. DLL. You do need this in your Alma 3 directory. This is for the memory allocation. So if we go back to our new exile, Steam Apps, common Alma 3. Just put this here. That's it. Restart the server, and we should be good to join. Wait for it to pop up. That's loaded. Happy days. Let's join the server. Make sure there's no errors to send. Should be good. Always take quite a while to load up these missions. How are we getting on? And it doesn't help that I'm on a potato PC, but hey. Hey ho. These nuts. All right, server stable. Come on, potato PC. You can do this. It does that help that I've got like a million windows open? Mission red. Okay, looking good. We're all done, guys. Server is up, server is playable. Happy days, fully up to date. Get a parachute out. And that is how you create an Armour 3 XL server. Sorry, it's a bit of a speed one through, but I am at work, and it's before I got a phone call and an interruption. Um, yeah, I wanted to get, get this, the video out. So I hope it helps. Remember to like and subscribe.